Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkoye and I'm also known as Ndinai Ja. Ja, Ja, Ja. Yo, we're going to talk about my money in 2020. Yes. Was your money funny in 2020? I'm trying to make a play on words here, but it's not really funny. 2020 has not been a funny year. Um, it's been a lot of things. Funny is not one of them. And with everything that has happened this year, I'm looking back on 2020 in light of my money goals, because that is one of the most important goals that I've had for a while, or one of the most important areas of focus for me for a while. And I think it's, it's that way for a lot of people. I am very grateful to have been blessed to have um, had my job or had a job and kept my job through the pandemic, especially when so many thousands of people have lost their jobs, have fallen ill, have passed on. So many things have happened and my heart goes out to everyone who has been adversely affected in this pandemic all over the world, especially in the United States. Um, yeah. So what happened with my money in 2020? Okay. At the beginning of 2020, um, I had about three money goals. And if you look, I think it'll be here, here, it's going to be somewhere. Um, I had, I'm going to put up a video. I'm sorry. I'm going to put up a video of me talking about the goals that I had for this year. Um, but I have my notes here, so I will tell you as well. So I have three goals or three plans. The first one was to pay off the IRS. The second one was to pay off my credit card. And the third was to save $5,000. So you might ask, how did you do with your money goals? What happened? What's What's been going on? Well, if you've been watching my videos... You would know, and I have a whole playlist of budgeting videos. They're called Budgeting with Indy Naija. If you've been watching those videos, you would know that uh, things have not exactly gone according to plan. Um, but a lot of good things have happened. So, number one goal, pay off the IRS. Done. Check. It happened. It went well. Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you may ask, how did I celebrate? Aha. That's where it gets complicated. I did not exactly celebrate because the money I had been paying to the IRS, I had to reallocate it to another line item in my budget. Um, thank God the money was there. Thank God it was now available. It was not available for the first half of the year, but it became available in the second half of the year, which was great. So no, no real celebration per se. Goal number two, pay off my credit card. Did that happen? The answer is no. I'm not too sad about it, though, because I started with just under $4,000 in credit card debt. I will be ending with just under $3,000. Um, I'm actually going to be ending with about twenty-eight, about $2,800. So we've come... Um, We've come a long way. I paid a total of $1,510, and yeah, that's that's what I did. Goal number three, save $5,000. At the beginning of the year, or at the end of last year, I decided that all the money that I was saving from my bills from the previous year, um, I was going to put into savings and try and save $5,000 try and squeeze out another 420 from somewhere, add it to the 185, which was my bill savings, put it together and hopefully get $5,000 at the end of 2020. Did that happen? Not quite. I was able to, for most of the year, put that 185 aside. I did that for eight months. And then for the remaining four months of the year, I've put over 185. So I've gone from 215 to 315. I fluctuated between between um, those two. But 
most of the year I say I put aside the 185 and the other parts of the year I um, did over 185 so you might ask okay knowing all of this why didn't you meet those goals well 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 <sighs> First and foremost, um, in personal things, I had legal expenses. Yes. So, legal expenses occurred or started at the beginning of the year. Yes, right at the beginning of the year. I had made my plans. My plans were going to work. Everything looked good, but I had legal expenses. I have been in um, a legal, how do I put it? A legal fiasco, snafu, conundrum, if you will, a legal hullabaloo, a legal crinkum crankum. I crack myself up. I've been in a legal situation for a couple of years now, and at the beginning of the year, it came up again. I had to raid my sinking funds. Um, I, I was uh, paying for therapy. I had to pay a parenting facilitator, I had to pay a lawyer, or my lawyer, because you know you have to pay lawyers, that's what happened. So um, it changed the way my budget looked, it changed the way my goals were going to happen, because these things were, were paramount. When you're, dealing with, um, when you're dealing with something that has to relate to your child, every, all your resources basically has, or most of your resources has to go to that. Oh dear. And we're back. So, um, I was telling you guys why I didn't meet my goals, or why I feel like I didn't meet my goals. And I told you all the first one already, legal expenses. Number two, COVID. COVID expenses related to homeschooling or virtual. It's not homeschooling, truly. It's schooling from home virtual learning, virtual schooling. Well, there are costs associated with that, so, and I didn't plan for them at the beginning of the year. Uh, because I also rated my sinking funds, I was unable to move things around and properly populate that category of my sinking funds, um, kids stuff. Number three, my monthly mortgage payment went up. <gasps> Ah, my mortgage payment went up. Yes, as a result of taxes. Um, and I also didn't plan for that. So that also took out a chunk. And I don't typically share my mortgage on my channel. Um, I think I've explained this before. It's primarily because I'm a single earner in my household. And right now, for right now, I just want to keep that private. I think eventually I will share it with you guys, but I want to get to, you know, you want to accomplish certain things. You want to get to a certain place, and then you can say, here's how I did. This is what I did. This is what I learned. What can I do better next time? So I want to move further in, along in the homeowner process before sharing that. So that's basically it. Um, even my my very private goal, <laughs> the very private goal of paying off my car. I thought I would be able to pay off my car this year uh, if if I was aggressive. But <laughs> my plan for aggression took a turn in January at the beginning of the year. So I can actually look back and say that um, this year has not been... Um, I, I, I can't even I can't even say this year has not been so bad because it has been horrible. It's been it's been terrible when I think of the number of people who have who have passed. I mean, it was just two months ago in October that end SARS the end SARS protests and the Nigerian government you know gunned down a whole a bunch of Nigerians and they've been arresting people ever since. Then all the people who have died from COVID were at December and were reaching in the United States closer and closer to 300,000, almost, is it 1% or 10% of the population? About 300, that was my calculator falling, we're about 300, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 30 million. My calculator can't even contain 300 million, but that's beside the point. Um, so it's 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 been quite a year, and I just hope you all are able to stay strong and that you are able to count your blessings and count what you did accomplish. Uh, the fact that you're still here, something went well, even if it's one thing. And even if you may be depressed, um, I hope you can find one thing to be thankful for. So that's it. I was talking about my private goal of paying off my car. Um, so far, I've paid about 3800 this year towards it. So, you know, one step forward. It might be hard. It has been hard. But we just keep moving forward. One Right now, I'm just taking one tired, very tired step in front of the other. And it's been demoralizing, to be honest. I have felt like throwing as much throwing everything just I'm done I'm done done with it done with all of this but I don't know that I can afford to deep down I don't really want to but I am I'm I'm tired I'm drained I've been dealing with this um, with these problems for a while so God willing next year will be different from this one I will have cause to smile I will have cause to shine I will have cause to rejoice. I will have cause to celebrate more acquisition of funds. I will. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, it's been tough creating videos these days because I have not been. Uh, it's uh, I have not been in the best of head spaces. Too much has been going on. But I'll see you guys soon. It's one step, one tired step in front of the other. That's Sometimes that's all you can do, just one. So thanks for, so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.